okay if I uh, if I ask her out on a uh, third date to go to Arby's? Yeah, Arby's is a respectable organization. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, hello there. Hey, welcome. Oh, come on in. Well, excuse me. Uh, I seem to have lost my kid. Oh, not again. Uh, uh, um, you lost your kid in the Mall of America? Oh, good, good luck, lady. <laughs> well, uh, um, uh, uh, ma'am, what does your kid look like? Well, he looks exactly like me. A uh, beautiful blonde hair, bright red shirt, little blue pants, and big mouth sneakers. Okay, ma'am, your, your kid's wearing the same thing you are? I know, isn't it cute? Uh, Ted and I, too, uh, we're going to need a, a search unit for a kid in blue pants, uh, a red shirt, and uh, uh, Mickey Mouse sneakers. Also, he, he has a uh, low self-esteem. <laughs> Thank you, too, so much. Have a seat, my dear. You mean, I keep it? No. Keeps? Sit in it. Sit. Oh, come in. Oh, welcome. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I got another one. Again? Oh, did you get checked around the Jamba Joe's? Yes, Peter, they just come here and save us the time. Okay. Let's have a seat right here. What's your guy wearing? Oh, he looks a lot like me. A tiny, pasty face wearing all black. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, 10 9, nine. Uh, we're gonna need to check uh, uh, a miss for a missing kid at the uh, Hot Topic. Let's have a seat right here. It's an expression. Yeah. It's an idiom. You guys are you guys are idiots. Come on. This is a great big mall. Tell me about it. it. Have you been to the Jabba No. <laughs> is, it, is it good? It's great. Hey, why don't you guys just text us or whatever oh, when you okay. find our kids? You guys have a nice day. Oh, thank you. Have a good one. Uh, I really need some help finding my kids. Oh, I got another one. Oh, All right. Put out an APB for Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're looking for some twins. One's a giant man, and the other one's a small, sassy version. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Hey, excuse me, everyone. I'd like, uh, I'd like to say something. I have something to say, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, maybe I should. Uh... There's no way. <laughs> I gotta do this one. Emma Green, will you do me the honor of being my bride? Uh, oh my god. Oh. No, but thank you. <laughs> after the Avengers movie, so it's like, Captain America. Did you not? What? Oh. oh so we're, we're still going to talk about that? Okay. Okay. All right. Whatever. Me and Dad were in the middle of a conversation, but, you know, I'm more than happy to watch this Hindenburg disaster go down to flames, so proceed. I asked you to marry me, and you say no. Thank you. Come on, sweetie. You know I love you. I just, I don't want it. This whole thing, you know? Like, the thought of marriage just sounds exhausting, doesn't seem like a word, right word, but yeah, kind of exhausting. I have a lot going on. <laughs> Dad, these steaks are great. Did you change your spice recipe? Oh, I'm really glad good. somebody noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I added a little oak chips to the grill. It gives it a nice oh, mistake. Phil? No one wants to hear about your goddamn oak chips. Talk to your daughter about her boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Emma, listen to your mother. Marry the kid. He seems like a good guy. <laughs> I just, I got me to be taken care of, okay? Like, you're the one that taught me to be a strong, independent woman, remember? Lesbian! <laughs> <laughs> you see, Kathy, I'm a good father! <laughs> you strong and independent. You taught her to be indecisive and avoidant, so... Potato, potato. Not exactly. Honey, I know David isn't a perfect guy. No offense, David. <laughs> well, he might be the perfect guy for you, and you're not getting any younger, and I'd like some grandkids. I wish you would just pop a few out before your inside people up and die like mine. Oh. <laughs> but, oh. talk about Avengers, but you guys can talk about your eggs and lady parts and shit. I can't believe you're being so nonchalant about this. I can't believe you won't marry me. I Thank love you. you. I even begged for your dad's permission and everything. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> he asked me! Okay? He started begging and crying. Oh, Kathy, you know what I love when you walk away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I, I recorded when he did it and put it on YouTube. It's already got 5,000 views. <laughs> I'm nervous, okay? I have a lot of feelings. Yes, you do. And you let them out. I'm <laughs> sure you look really sweet. No, uh, not according to the YouTube comments. It's not. <laughs> Would you at least just think about it? Listen, I thought about it, okay? I just... I don't want to, and to be honest, do you really want to marry me when I'm clearly not feeling this? Absolutely I do. <laughs> Did you hear a perfect ten? I'm a four on a good day. Or <laughs> you're a, a five at least. <laughs> five and a half. Oh shit, dude, she threw your love ball back in your face, bro. Shut Ow. up, Tom. <laughs>
Yo, girl, are you a drunk? Because I tap that. <laughs> are you alone and don't know why? Yeah, maybe you're ugly. What? Ow. You're in denial, my friend. What you need are millennial pickup lines, okay? These are pickup lines written for men by women. I'll take any Including of classics like this. What's up, baby? Are you smart at all? Because you're on my attention. What's up, girl? What's up, what's up, what's up? Are you a Mormon? Because I'm only your missionary tonight. <laughs> More classics like, uh, baby, did you know that I'm a carpenter? Because yes, I can't handle my wood. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Millennial pickup lines. All of the same rejection, only now you can scapegoat silly women. <laughs> Buy millennial pickup lines now, while it's still cheaper than sex. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, coming out here today. Uh, I usually have my public relations officer release my press statements, but uh, as CEO of Amtrak, <laughs> travel smart, I feel that it's best if I speak on behalf of Amtrak, travel smart. Now, we have all heard of the recent tragedy involving Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. And our hearts go out to the uh, families and passengers and crew of that flight. You know, we hope and we pray that it is only lost and may soon be recovered. Now, I know that if the Malaysian Airline employees are anything like Amtrak employees, that no matter the circumstances, everyone will be treated with the utmost respect. <laughs> So, that being said, I would like to point out that Amtrak, travel smart, <laughs> has had a track record of absolutely no flights being lost <laughs> in the Gulf of Thailand. Now, I know, I know that it may seem callous, but I... It was such a tragic moment to moat <laughs> Amtrak. But in all honesty, we need this. <laughs> Have you ever ridden one of our trains? It takes 44 hours to get from Chicago to Seattle. 44 hours. You can lose two Malaysian airline flights in that amount of time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> okay. Once again, I'd like to thank you for coming out here today. Remember, Amtrak. I'm smart. <laughs> Every day, millions of Americans get into their car, thinking that nothing bad will happen. But when disaster strikes, is your ass covered? You think it's a dream, but it's not. It's real, and it's worse than you thought. No one ever told you that leggings aren't real pants. <laughs> but with Allstate, you're covered. Allstate, is your ass in good hands? <laughs>
I know about the affair with the doctor. Oh, when there is Vicodin involved for free, that is the definition of true love. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're really reading at the book club. Like how though? Because you can't even read? I've never seen you read a book. Sam told me. I know you're reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Really, Mom? Could you pick a more boring book? It doesn't even have any pictures. Honey, <laughs> that book does not need pictures. Well, it's not fair. Life's not fair. Ask your daddy's lawyers. Why do you get to have four cups of Mommy's special grape juice and I only get one of Walmart brand when I'm good? Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. I need this for my health. No, you don't, Mom. attacking Obama for the past three years. So, we need to do some 2017 fortune telling. So, on my panel today, we have two great Democrats who will half-heartedly half defend the president, and as well as a Republican EP congressman, our congressman, who will... You're a congressman, right? Yes, yeah, so you also moonlight as a doomsday prepper, correct? <laughs> That's correct. Okay, now we got that straight. <laughs> and you are a hot token lady Republican. <laughs> we will start with the Republicans because they are more than likely crazy enough to say something that's going to keep our audience on their sofa, in their underwear, screaming at the televisions while they ignore the hungry cries of their cats. <laughs> Congressman, what are your uh, gems you have for us today, sir? First off, let me start out by saying an outrageous lie. No U.S. trained doctor will accept Obamacare. There are also provisions in Obamacare that require every hospital to have wall-to-wall -wall shared carpeting in their ORs, ERs, and in all patient rooms. In conclusion, <laughs> socialists will soon storm your homes, take your guns and rights. And if you are part of the real America, I suggest you hunker down and get yourself a bunker. Ah. The lie you started out with has been stated so many times by your friends and colleagues in the office that half the country now thinks it is true. Hot Republican lady. Hot Republican lady, it's your turn to say something now. Remember, uh, the dumber you sound, the more the media will pay attention to you. Well, thank you. I want all you viewers at home to know that I am just a homespun mama next door who became a congresswoman after a GOP model scout discovered me at a Jamba Juice in the Mall of America. <laughs> you know, I am blessed to represent a district where cows outnumber people. I gotta be on TV because all you middle-aged men out there think that I look like that hot den mother from Cub Scout. <laughs> that is literally the only reason I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know, God told me personally that our once great nation is on the wrong path if we don't correct our course that you just stated that you were a prophet because I have realized you have crazy eyes. <laughs> Democratic female, 
You are not nearly as hot as this fine lady with the crazy eyes, but you are a Fulbright scholar, as well as an expert on economics. Would you please tell us what you think about America's economy? And remember, the smarter you sound, the less the media will pay attention to you. <laughs> Thank you, David. Mrs. Fields, silly-ass grown man. <laughs> I can't talk about the economy anymore. My campaign manager recently told me that my Harvard MBA makes me feel cold and elitist. Something a personal injury lawyer I am running against does not have to worry about. <laughs> I could lose my seat because he ran a business out of the back of his Ford Escort, chasing automobiles and enticing dogs to bite people. <laughs> his name is Skip. Skip. I went to Wellesley and Harvard, and I am getting beat by Skip whose presidency at the Delta Tau Delta fraternity makes him a natural-born leader. <laughs> but doesn't harbor actual hate for women with skinny arms and carry yoga mats and finish the cases of Chobani they buy at Costco. <laughs> uh, everybody wants to have a beer with. I quit my job at General Electric for this shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you think about the economy? You know, the yokels in my district are hard-working, smart Americans. So I vaguely agree with the president's stance on the economy. Sure, whatever. It's better than the economy was after that bush train wreck. But I cannot finish my statement without saying, jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. My district needs more jobs. J-O-B-S, people, jobs. Okay. <laughs> Democratic male, here comes a doozy for you. Do you think that Republicans are dishonest obstructionists who have been lying to the American people for the last five years in order to undercut a Democratic president, in order to make the American feel American people feel that Democrats can't be good presidents either? Well, my first took my oath of Democratic Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> my new order and I, I retired to the anti-chamber to have a celebratory glass of rosé. Then when we were all drunk off of pink wine, <laughs> a cloaked Joe Biden came out and ritualistically removed my testicles with JFK's favorite <laughs> <laughs> To answer your question, no. That is literally the most horrifying thing I have ever heard. <laughs> if it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. <laughs> several 24-hour news networks 
draw correlations between the real life tragedy okay, and my fiction television show loss. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to address those concerns. I'm not the nerd messiah. I can't see the future. I don't know what's coming. Do you understand that, CNN? <laughs> okay. The real life tragedy that is the Malaysian Flight 370. Real life tragedy. Work of fiction lost. Work of fiction. Honest, honestly, the whole first season of Lost was a bet I made with Jennifer Garner. <laughs> 13 going on 37. You know what? <laughs> America interested in a show with jungle polar bears, <laughs> magical monsters, <laughs> and never any solution to any of the mysteries we raise. All of you just play this sound before and after every episode. <laughs> 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 I'm not your leader. And I'm not your enemy either, nerds. <laughs> I'm gonna address some concerns. Look, I know it's a big deal to you guys that I'm writing and directing both the Star Wars and Star Trek franchises. I know change is hard to accept for a lot of you because of your undiagnosed Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding against you. Well, here's the thing. I'm not gonna make any more comic book movies. Relax. But I am going to redo the last three Batmans because they lack time travel and that's important to me. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, guys, I can't see the future, because if I could, the last three seasons of Lost wouldn't have sucked so bad. <laughs> I write fiction. Okay. I write fiction. I am J.J. Abrams. And I have more money than you. <laughs> Darren 
Aronofsky's new movie, Noah, was harshly and unfairly criticized by not sticking to the Bible version of the Great Flood, creating a version he himself interprets to be true. The following is the original flood scene in the movie, showing how unjust the critics were. Hey, how's Noah doing? Uh, he's been acting a little strange lately. Strange how? I've seen it. I've seen it. Seen what? Noah? The Lord came to me in a dream. He spoke to me. <laughs> All right, Noah. That's enough. Come on. No, you don't, you don't. don't understand, darling. God is about to open up the heavens. It's going to rain for forty days and forty nights, destroying all of the earth. Whoa, are you, are you serious? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> he wants me to build something to to save all of the creatures. Like an ark? No, uh, I, I, I don't think so. I think he said something like a, a, a multinational tech corporation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with a tech corporation, Noah? Build it from the ground up, ground up, name it after the forbidden fruit, and <laughs> everyone about the flood. <laughs> How are you going to do all of this? I don't know. You know, yeah. He gave me uh, all the exact dimensions for building an ark, but didn't tell me how to start a business. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you sure you didn't mishear God? That Jewish accent's a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he said, uh, bro, he said, bro, do me a, uh, Noah, do me a favor, and uh, do me a favor, and build a company called Apple. How are that? people supposed to get the message about this? It's awesome. See, Apple's gonna have this thing called the cloud, <laughs> and the messages will descend from heaven, and people will know it's the Lord because they will have these gadgets with these icons on the back of them with a bite out of it, just like, just like Eve in the Garden of Eden. This symbol for ultimate sin. I uh. I already, I, already, I already built this prototype. Whoa, that's pretty impressive considering we only have mud and sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should build an ark or move to a mountainous area. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you all see? Don't you all see? Once, once this company goes worldwide, the stock prices will go through the roof and we will all be rich as hell. That makes no sense in this time period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to build your dress, Bobby. Oh, thank God. Rocco, uh, Noah here has some ideas about how Open a bottle 
my babies. See what happens. Not gonna be around forever. Open a bottle of babies. See what happens. <laughs> you know, your sister has seven kids. Seven, and you have nothing. Child rearing is what I made you for. Open a bottle of babies and see what happens. <laughs> Not getting any younger. Open a bottle of baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a proper woman wears a dress every now and then. You look like a lesbian. Open a bottle of baby. Let's see what happens. You know, a proper woman wears a dress every now and then. You look like a lesbian. Maybe it's because I am one. Open a bottle of babies. Make them out of the closet, why don't you? <laughs> Ladies, welcome back. After tonight's rose ceremony, oh, no. one of you will be going home with the bachelor, Joe Doe. It's a Joe Doe! It's Joe Doe! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chew Dude. Begin when you're ready. All of you ladies are the sun when I sleep and the moon when I wake. This is the very hardest decision. Vanilla? <laughs> Will you end up in this room? Oh my god, of course. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay, okay. Do you love me? Okay, okay. Are you listening to me? Okay, okay. <laughs> Take your rose. You're a monster! <laughs> Seems an ambiguous accent and cheap cologne just doesn't do it forever. Let me ready, Charlie. You know, that's hard to be the much, but uh. It was like a workout of my uh, glutes and triceps, you know? You know, after the workout, you're stronger for the other lady. You know, uh, 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 Foxy, she like my glutes, and uh, Julia, she, uh, she like my triceps, you know? You know? Nope. Yeah. Legs are like your legs, right? No. Legs are your legs. Which are like your butt? Oh, the, the butt of your legs. No, the butt of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like legs don't have butts, right? <laughs>
go to Mayo, everyone. Walker's <laughs> favorite holiday, traditionally celebrated with tacos and tequila. Donald Sterling was banned for life from the NBA for his inflammatory remarks. Who knew someone who was previously sued multiple times for discrimination would be a racist? <laughs> Three Romanian plastic surgeons were accused of pocketing insurance claims. Apparently, their bank account needed a facelift. <laughs> Trying to reduce Ukrainian military activity, the U.S. and Europe imposed new sanctions on Russia. In response, Putin declared, I'm rubber, you're glue. Sanction me, no vodka for you. <laughs> uh, the recent takeover of Crimea by Russian <laughs> President Vladimir Putin has many people wondering what is the next step when it comes to Ukraine. Here to comment is Russian citizen Olya Pavlatsky. Hello. Hello, I'm so happy to be here in Northern Russia. Uh, Olya, you're, you're done with Russia, is that right? Oh, don't speak loud. Well. I love Russia. I tell all my Ukraine friends, don't fight with Russia. Move, move with me and my tent village. Know <laughs> what they say. Two is company, three is crowd trying to keep warm. <laughs> uh, who says that? Oh, yeah. My tent village. Uh, we have this slogan. If it's too cold, you probably are already dead from hypothermia. <laughs> that sounds terrible. It is. <laughs> and actually, though, we have all we need. We have dog, we have TV, we have even my neighbor. He come up with a version of Craigslist. It's called Olaf's List. <laughs> uh, that sounds awful. Can you tell me anything good about living in Russia? Tank top season. No, tank season, military tanks. We have, uh, we have military exercises on our beaches. <laughs> uh, you're not painting a great picture of Russia for your Ukrainian friends. Okay, Let me uh, paint a picture worth 1,000 rubles, okay? Um, so you're in the summer and the beaches and the, the tanks with missiles strapped to them are flying over and the sand makes a big best barren world with, and you close your eyes and you think you're dead, <laughs> or you could just open them, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Poblatsky, everyone. <laughs> a Pennsylvania brewery commemorated the AMC series The Walking Dead by adding real roasted brains to one of their brews. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Anheuser-Busch revealed its new beer, Clydesdale Cider. <laughs> I'll try it, I'll try it. <laughs> Ron Emanuel has announced five different approaches to deal with almost the 40,000 pothole complaints in the city. Not on the list telling Mother Nature to fuck off. <laughs> Paula Dean, infamous for using butter and racial slurs, will show the image on her summer cooking tour. She stated, I don't discriminate, I eat everything. <laughs> a school is using the video game Minecraft to teach kids about the Cold War, and the kids are loving it. What? Kids like video games? <laughs> Speaking of kids and video games, earlier this week, a 19-year-old stepfather was charged with misdemeanor child endangerment after he continued playing video games instead of taking his two-year-old son with a broken leg to the hospital. Here to comment, Luis, that stepfather. <laughs> What's up, Dick Dunn? Uh, Luis, can you tell us what happened? Yeah, yeah, so I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5. No way! What the hell was that? And, and your stepson started crying, right? Yeah. Um, are you okay? Uh, you're spacing out a little bit there. Yeah, man, I'm just getting buttloads of points right now. <laughs> okay, uh, come, come back. Can you tell us the story, please, Luis? Yeah, so, the, so like, the, kid, the kid's not even my kid, right? I'm a stepdad. People are like, you gotta step up. And I'm like, you gotta step away. <laughs> uh, let's get back on track. What happened to your stepson after he started crying? So, like, he's like screaming aloud and everything. And I'm like, something's gotta be wrong. And like, something was. I didn't get any of the trophies on any of the levels I played. So I just played for another two hours. But, no, what happened to your stepson? Oh, he respawned. <laughs> respawned? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do know that video games and real life are two separate things. Yeah, 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 of course. Wait, what? <laughs> what? So you mean I'm not getting...
get any points for this? No. Oh, shit. Thanks for being here, Louise. <laughs> Three Schomburg police officers were arrested on drug charges. Two of the officers had pleaded guilty, and the other pleaded powdered donut residue. North <laughs> <laughs> Korea fired two mid-range missiles at South Korea to show that Kim Jong-un may have the, the missile power to carry a nuclear warhead. Something else Kim Jong-un may have? Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> New York City plans to implement a 10 cent tax on all paper and plastic shopping bags, now making it even harder for homeless people to have shoes. <laughs> the United States and the Philippines are paving the way for the first large-scale American troop presence on the island since the early 90s. I don't think this is what BuzzFeed had in mind when they, when they posted 25 things we missed from the 90s. <laughs> after 10 years of marriage, actress Gwyneth Paltrow and Coldplay frontman Chris Brown Thanks a lot. 